Good morning and welcome to the Foods Podcast. Today is Monday and it is day 24 in the month of August year 2020. It is a beautiful day. I rejoice greatly with you that you are still here in the land of the living. Today's topic is token for good. Token for good. And when we say token, what do we mean by token? Token can mean a thing serving as a visible or tangible representation of a fact, a feeling, you know, a quality. So that's what um, a token means. And we're saying that token for good. If you want a token, especially as Christians and children of God, then we want it to be for our good. It will be something that represents or serves to represent or indicate a feeling, you know, whether it's a feeling of victory, feeling of success, feeling of deliverance, whatever that, you know, resonates with you and is what you're looking for from God. So we will go to the book of Psalms. Um, I'll be reading from chapter 86 and um, I'll be from verse 14 even though my main text is verse 17 so verse 14 this was a psalm of David and you know as we all know David the lover of God was always praying to God seeking his face you know constantly being in the presence of God asking God to show him to show him mercy and that God should listen to his voice and attend to his supplication, that God should answer him and deliver him from trouble. You know, David was so open to God. On this occasion, he wanted a token and was a token for good as well. That, yes, I know that God, you've answered me in times past. And this relates with us. We know that God has answered us in times past. We know that he's going to answer us even now as we ask and we, and we speak with him and as we reason to him and as we converse and talk to him. But we still want that token for good not just for ourselves but for our enemies and those that are against us to see and know that god is for us because beloved the truth is that wherever that is a friend with god faces enmity with the world and whoever that is a friend of the world faces enmity with god so vice versa so it is better for us to be with god and let the world you know hate us we would we have the full assurance that our father would always always be there to preserve us and to protect us and to lift us up so i will read from verse 14 of um, psalm 86 it says oh god the proud are reason against me and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul and have not set thee before them But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thine handmaid. Verse 17. Show me a token for good that they which hate me may see it and Be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. Show me a token for good, so that they which hate me may see it. So the token is not even for us to see, but for those that hate us, for the world that hates the children of God, so they can see what the Lord has done and be ashamed. That's all. The ones that we have hated, the creator of heaven and earth is the one that has lifted them up and delivered them. And that's my prayer for you and I, that God will give us a token for good so that the world that hates us, the children of God, will indeed see what God has wrought in our lives and they'll be ashamed and turn their ways and return to God, their father and their creator. And I also like to look at the message version, you know, of, of, of that, um, verse. And it says 
in the message version it says make a show of how much you love me so the bullies who hate me will stand there slack jawed as you god gently and powerfully put me back on my feet my prayer for you is that god will make a show of how much he loves you in the name of jesus and he will not just stop there he will make that show so that the bullies that hate you will stand with their slack jawed because god will gently and powerfully put you back on your feet in the name of jesus what is it that you're trusting god for what is it that you're believing god for what is it that you're hoping in god for what is it that you have strong faith in the lord for just hold on to him seek him he's the only one that can deliver you he's the only one that can help you he's the only one that can comfort you he's the only one that can lift you up He's the only one that will not allow shame to be your portion or reproach to be your portion. Because the word of God says that those that put their trust in God will not be put to shame. They will not be ashamed and they will not be put into confusion. So stay strong. Hold on to him. And he will make a show of you. He will give you a token for good. And that will be your joy. Because... Whether we like it or not, we will be hated by the world because we stand with God. If you're a friend with the Lord, then that is en enmity with the world. But if you're a friend with the world, now that is enmity with God. So let our friendship with God be constant. Because our friendship with God will mean that we will be constantly and regularly we'll, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll be constantly and regularly at odds with the world so it's better for us to be constantly and regularly friends with god and be at odds with the world than to be, for it to be the other way around so stay strong be of a good courage don't be anxious about anything because god's got you have a wonderful day, have a blessed week, and I'll see you in the next episode of The Foods Podcast. Shalom.